Okay, this is a WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications. We're going to cover how to add bold, italics, and colors to text in WordPress. Uh, if you haven't watched any of the preceding tutorials and you're wondering how to log in to your blog or how to get started, um, check some of those earlier tutorials out. Here we go. All right, we're looking at uh, this blog website here, Business Blogging 101, where I've posted a lot of these tutorials myself. This is hosted on uh, WordPress.com. And I'm going to assume that you know how to log in, so we can just go right to the Business Blogging 101 dashboard here. Um, and if we have a, a post or a page that we want to edit, we can go to manage and edit. I'm going to find my fairly new post here and edit that one. Here it is, my fairly new, new post. And um, we're just doing some, some basics here, very simple. You can see you have uh, these choices across the uh, center of the screen, which are your um, formatting for text, uh, insertion of images, if you highlight text, you can turn it into a link. That's the subject of another tutorial. And in uh, more recent versions of WordPress, I think from uh, version 2.3, there's a button here, very nice, uh, Show Hide Advanced Toolbar. So I'll just show you where that is if you haven't uh, found it yet. We're going to use that to uh, apply color to text. So First off, you can see you've got standard formatting just like a word processor like Microsoft Word or uh, one of those uh, software programs that you're probably used to using. And you can do all these uh, formatting options. You can align the text. You can indent text or send it back out if you have indented it. You can apply uh, an ordered list like I could do right here. I'm actually talking about things that I didn't uh, say I was going to talk about. but Anyway, you can see I've, I've highlighted this much text and now I'm going to hit the B and it is bold. Okay, so you can apply that to a whole paragraph, just whatever it is that you highlight. Um, you want to turn it off, then highlight the text and uh, press the B again. Same goes for italics. Okay, it might be hard to see on this small uh, you know, video screen, but I'm, I'm sure you get the idea. You're, you're highlighting a chunk of text, whatever you want to format, and clicking the appropriate button. Here I've clicked the I up here on the visual editor um, in this formatting tab, and it turns this uh, word paragraph into italicized um, characters. Alrighty, so I'm going to leave that italicized, and I'm going to make the whole thing bold so maybe you can see it a little better. Uh, and now our, our final um, little uh, application, we're, we're going to apply color. So I don't know if you can see this, but so we're, we're talking about, um, wow, I just made it gray. That's exciting. Um, version 2.3 of WordPress has these uh, additional features, including um, formatting text in color, which I don't think uh, you can do even as uh, late as maybe 2.1. Um, so if you're using 2.1 you might want to consider upgrading or uh, there's some other ways to do it which are a little more complicated and I won't talk about those here. Send me an email or comment in the in the blog here um, and I'll help you out with that. Okay, you can see there's underline. I'm going to go back and see if I can make this text black. There. Uh, but basically you have the button right here uh, in the center of the formatting bar where you can choose from this limited palette of colors. You can click on more colors and then you get the color spectrum uh, that, that you might be familiar with from other software. You can choose from a palette which is basically I think it's a hex palette like uh, 256 colors or so. Um, the so-called web safe colors. 
here, which are most of the ones that you would want to use, I would think, just for text, especially in WordPress. Or um, there are named colors, which uh, in HTML there are certain colors that you can use just the um, English word and it will format in that color. So you can play around with this. You can see there are a lot of options. I'm going to, you know, the problem is making sure that you've kept the um, color that you want selected there. That applied it and now you can see you have applied that color kind of a dark green to all of the text on the page. Okay and then when you're done don't forget to save and you're all finished. So you know how to apply bold, italics, and color. You have to go and get it by clicking this button to open up the advanced toolbar to find the color tab and uh, that's how you do that. Okay, we're going to click save and we are done.